It's Howard Greenstein for Propelify, and I'm about to meet with Div Tarakia, learning about what it's like to run Media.net in China, as well as some of the worst business advice he's ever been given. This is Div Tarakia. I'm the founder and CEO of Media.net. Thanks so much for、uh, meeting with Propelify today, Div.、Um, since Media.net's been acquired, you've been in talks. You've talked in other interviews about the rules and regulations for companies doing business in China. What's been your biggest insight and your biggest learning in starting to work in the Chinese market? I would say that the fundamentals remain the same. So, if you build a strong business in your home country, as you plan to scale globally, you need to localize for each market. And some countries may require very little localization. China requires a lot of localization. You simply cannot do it from the outside. I mean, you you really have to be in China. Uh, the other thing is, China has incredible amount of capital, and that capital is no longer just local. There's a lot of smart money that is in China. They understand, and appreciate businesses that are global, that are scalable, that have long-term sustainable value, and they'll continue to chase the right deals. And, and this is not like a short-term trend; it's a long-term trend of outbound investments from China, primarily in businesses that have real consistent growth and real consistent opportunity. So.、Um, I think over a 20-year period, we'll see the China market open, close, open, close, open, close. But at the end of the day, we keep seeing it go upward in terms of its total investments, because、uh, uh, obviously there's a lot of access to great capital there.、But、also, I mean, another thing that we we realized a lot more of, and this is not my first China deal. I had、uh, for a previous company, I had a 70 people office in China、uh, that I'd exited previously.、Um, With the more we do in China, the more we realize that there's an incredible amount of local tech talent that is available. In、um, and the other thing that you know is very interesting about China, and this is like based on personal experience, I noticed that the women、uh, there's a lot more women in senior management positions in large Chinese companies, and I haven't seen as much in other countries. So it's definitely something that I think most countries should figure out how to adapt to.、Um, I think they've done a great job there. So you've been an entrepreneur since a, a young age. What's the best piece of business advice you can give for all the hustlers, all the people who are really trying to work it and coming to see us at Propelify? It's I would say the 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 only piece of advice that I would give that is short enough to fit in this particular response because there's never one thing, right? As a founder, you have to basically keep in mind forty, fifty different things.、Uh, but the one thing is there are no shortcuts. So and there's nothing like overnight success. All of us who were overnight successes really have a decade of history that you just don't know about.、Right. Um, so whatever you do when you start a business, it doesn't matter what sector it is in. It doesn't matter if the idea is、uh, is being done by others, not done by others,、uh, or, or whatever. The idea should be that you should be you should feel that passion within yourself where you feel like you will be in this business. For at least ten years, because even good software takes five years to write. So you're not even going to have a great platform for the first five years. So if you're not planning to be in it for ten years, there's no point being in it. So don't look for short-term opportunities.、Um, sometimes you might find that some friends succeed in them and unlock some value, but over the long term,、uh, it really doesn't work out.、Um, I've had a lot of bad advice.、Uh, Uh, that I've gotten over the years, and and, and happy、okay. to talk about that. And here's、yes. the funny、Tell、part,、me. right? You get infinite amount of bad advice from people that may have your like they have the your best interests at heart. So it'll be people that are really close to you that really really care about you that will give you like literally the worst advice. I'll give you some examples, and and I know that a lot of these founders that come to Palafy, uh, um, uh, will have been through this, and will continue to go through it throughout their journey. Uh, for example, one of them is this business is already done by company A, company B, company C, company Z, and the industry is overcrowded. I mean, the industry is overcrowded because there is money in that industry.、Right. So, from that perspective, you know, I, I don't think it really counts. For example, let's take my case. For instance, I started not the first domain registrar. I started the 179th domain registrar. When I exited it for about 160 million, it became the fifth largest domain registrar, and I started that company with like five, six hundred bucks with my brother. 
uh, when I started my domain advertising company, I was literally the last one in the in that industry. When I started the contextual advertising company, which is Media.net, my latest venture that I exited for 900 million, uh, that was the last contextual advertising company that started at that time. There were many others that, had, that were doing this forever. So, in in then let me give you an example of my uh, a company where I started first in India when I started back in the 90s. There was no payment gateway, and I started India's first payment gateway. And oh, by the way, I had to get rid of it because that market was too small because I started that early. So um, I, I think that would be an example of you know what would be like not the best advice. And there are several others that you would get. I think uh, as an entrepreneur, you need to figure out whether that advice applies to you or not because you'll get some good ones and some bad ones. And you really need to create your own formula that works for you. And you need to make your own mistakes. And if you don't want to make as many mistakes, you read a lot. And the more you read, the lesser mistakes you'll make because you learn from other people.